my goodness. Sorry, I just popped Gene Mikowski's ears off, but I'm so excited because we got a big man on the stage. This dude is huge. I would not want to get in the trenches. I think you would just shove me away with one hand like a flea and go up to the second level. Gene, thank you so much for joining us at the Rough Riders home opener, the Riders 2-0 to start the season. Can you sense the excitement around Rider Nation? Absolutely. I'm excited about this game, the home opener. I, I would point out I don't think I'm as big as Luke uh, anymore, but uh, <laughs> but uh, great, great to be on the show. And yeah, lot, lots of excitement, lots of buzz. Uh, the Riders have, have done well so far this year and, and uh, looking to uh, keep her doing it uh, at home here. So uh, a lot of excitement, uh, obviously, in, in the city and in the province. Everybody's talking about Corey Mace and the way that he's guided this team to the 2-0 and start, the way that he's really taken to the province and embraced Saskatchewan in Rider Nation. What is your take on Mace? Yeah, it's great to see. I mean, uh, when you win, things are, are, are going to uh, fall into place for sure. And so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see this game. I'm interested to see how the, the coaching staff is going to approach this game in terms of how the team comes out. It, it, it can, can be a situation where, they, you know, you're feeling well, things have gone well, uh, you pulled two games out. Uh, are you going to have that same standard uh, no matter what happens uh, the previous week or the previous play? I think they've been able to do that within a game, forget about the bad plays and just keep going and keep going and keep playing. I think a lot of that comes from the coaching staff. Uh, the, the standard that they set, are they going to be able to do it in a game uh, here at home uh, when uh, the Ticats might be uh, a desperate team coming in here? So uh, looking for that that standard I think this game can uh, really uh, set the riders in the right direction for the upcoming season Gene uh, I always say when people ask me what I would have done different when I played I, I've just done everything Gene Mikowski did because he never got hurt and he was always prepared and one of the best players on the field what do you think this old line needs to do to to play a little better they've been struggling in a run game uh, passing games have been great but I think that's a lot about Trevor getting rid of it quick Struggling a little bit at left tackle. Trevor Reed has had his ups and downs. What do you think the line is missing? I think they're I think they're doing okay. I think losing Blake is going to definitely hurt. I mean, he's a I, I think he's probably their their best player, the mo most experienced uh, for sure. And so uh, the, that's uh, that's a big loss. Uh, they, they'll have to have the next guy step up, of course. Uh, but you know they're doing okay. Of course, we like to see the them run the ball a little more. Uh, I don't know what maybe defenses are, are really uh, focusing on Olette and 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 uh, making them throw the ball. And so that, that might be just the threat of the run is helping the riders a bit. You know, they're doing okay. Some of the, some of the players uh, just played their first CFL game a couple weeks ago. And so that, that takes time to know the, the, uh, the rushers you're going against. If you're a first-time Canadian player, you played in the States, like yard off the ball is, is a different beast. So there's, uh, there, there's lots of things that are coming together. I think they're good athletes and, you know, well-coached. And I didn't see a whole bunch of assignment errors. But uh, uh, let's got to clean, clean things up and, and learn to play as a group a little more. And I, I, I think they'll be fine. Just got to stay healthy. And uh, so far, it's, it's uh, you know, not, not been great news on that front. What's the biggest key to a good run game? I say it's the tandem blocking on the down line and working up to the second level. What, what, what's, what is it for you? You're well, the expert. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's all got to work together, right? Yeah, yeah. If you, if you whiff at the line of scrimmage, it doesn't matter if you get up to the, the second level, right? But yeah, yeah. but uh, just uh, working uh, all in tandem and, and uh, the commitment to the run, I think, helps too, right? You move yeah. that pace, right? You, you get to wear them down a little bit and, and not being down early in the game, uh, it certainly helps uh, with all those things. So, uh, yeah, just, just that consistency and that, that threat of the run, I think, is going to, uh, is going to help the riders uh, into the future. But, uh, again, uh, we can say all these things, but uh, riders have won. And so whatever they've done, <laughs> whatever they've done, it doesn't matter because right, right. they won, right? And so, uh, <laughs> like I said, you get, when, you, when you win, it sort of uh, uh, makes all those things work and seem great. So I uh, hope they can continue that. Canadian Football Hall of Famer Gene Mikowski joins us on the Rider Nation pregame show leading into your 2-0 Saskatchewan Rough Riders playing their 2024 home opener against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. Gene, I mentioned this to you off air, but you got to go a long way back to find the last left tackle who was an all-star for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. It was you, I believe, if I have this right, in 2006. So I'm saying that. What does a guy like Trevor Reed have to do to get to that level? 
Well, I think just experience, right? I, I don't know uh, his, his previous experience. I don't know a lot of, a lot about him, but uh, learning from a guy like Hardrick, who's been in the league for quite some time and, and had some success. And again, just, just uh, the more reps you get, stay healthy, uh, learn the system, learn from the coaches, learn from the other players. And, uh, you know, he, he just fine. Looks like he's a pretty good athlete uh, out there. And, uh, you know, uh, all, all, all the tools, you just got to put it together with some experience and, and uh and that goes for right across the line, uh, relatively uh, younger group, uh, except for, I, I guess, the uh, aforementioned Harder. Uh, but uh, he can be a real leader out there, and I think he is. And, uh, you know, uh, why, why not uh, have, have a couple all-stars? Uh, I hope they are, because if, if that's the case, it usually means the uh, riders are winning and having a good season. So I, really, I don't know if you've seen it or not, excuse me, but Trevor Reed, at his height and weight, he can do a backflip. This guy looks like a gymnast. Really? <laughs> it's insane. If you're a rider fan out there, just Google Trevor Reed backflip. Unbelievable. Gene, I want to bring up something, and I'm curious if you've ever seen this before. The Gene Machine car <laughs> that is signed by all kinds of rough riders. It's got George Reed, I believe, on the front, Ronnie Lancaster on the back. You can see it right there. Have you signed that thing? Yes, I, I recall. I, I don't ask me what year or when, but it's <laughs> probably in a training cap and... Uh, Pretty cool, and that, I, I think that shows. Uh, look at the room here. Look at what's uh, uh, happened right across the province, and uh, obviously, cash of folks uh, in, in our province for this team, and uh, uh, that that's a that's a big honor. And uh, you, usually, linemen don't get any uh, notoriety or headlines or anything, so that, that's pretty cool. And, uh, <laughs> you gotta watch out for the Gene know. Machine on the road. That's a 1988 Lincoln Town Car. Wes, is your signature on that? I don't know if I made it on that one. I, I, it might be in there somewhere. Like, yeah, you get a little foggy, maybe a little C feet. You don't remember everything you signed, but uh, thankfully, um, most of my faculties are working at a high level, so I'm blessed. Super fan Don Pagoda drives that car. He showed up to Rough Rider training camp this year with it, obviously collecting a bunch of new autographs, and I just couldn't believe it. And the fact it was named the Gene Machine, I started to wonder, is he out here bumping people on the road? You know what I mean? Getting a little bit physical like Gene Machine was on the field. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully not. That's pretty cool, though. You know, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but I want to dive deeper into it. The fourth quarter comebacks, Gene, is that something that's sustainable for this football team? Do you look at that as a positive that they can get it done when they're down? And I'll add this. It's the first time in Ryder history that in back-to-back -back games, they've come back in the fourth quarter from double-digit deficits to win. Yeah, I think it's it's what I, I talked about earlier. You know, uh, things are going to happen throughout the season, and and uh, we, weird plays or fluke plays or or what. But if you can keep that same standard of intensity for four quarters and and uh, set that standard for for yourself and for the team, uh, you always have a chance. I think back to uh, we were talking the other day. I forget who I was talking with, but uh, Durant, he's one of the uh, uh, Plaza of Honor. It, it was based on that. But I always had the feeling in. In games, big games we were in, you we are always in it. Yeah. Like, uh, whatever the score was, that's fine. As long as we knew what we had to do to get uh, get to the win, it didn't happen all the time. But, uh, you know, if, if, if you have that uh, that feeling, that, that intensity, that standard that you're always trying to play for, never never got the feeling you're you're, uh, you're out of it. And and uh, hopefully that's the case. And I, th I think uh, Coach Base is a, is a part of that, that intensity he has, that – that standard he has for the team, I hope uh, we can see that here today. There were some people at Ryder Nation that were calling those first two wins ugly. I thought they were exhilarating, entertaining, exciting, and that's when you want to get it done at crunch time, yeah. scoring unanswered points in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we, I mean, I bet when when you brought up that stat, I'm like, we didn't do that when we were playing team because we were kind of like the comeback kids. I know we've had a couple of late, you know, two score comebacks. Maybe didn't put them together back to back. But we were known for that, and it's about that confidence. We just knew that if the defense got stopped, so we figure out a way to put it in the end zone and get the points that we need. And so, so definitely, I think that uh, fans shouldn't be worried about it. This would be exciting if you can be down a couple of times and then find your way to a victory. Like you can look at this as almost like you know a win you didn't deserve. Well, however you want to look at it, but it's a W in the stat sheets, and it's getting you closer to making the playoffs and hoisting that cup. So why, why be mad about it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, style points, uh, you know, that's fine. Of course, you'd want to blow out every team, but this is, this is the pros. And uh, when you make those big plays at key times, that's what it's about. And, and if you can do that, I mean, that's, uh, that's great football to watch. But uh, 
uh, what the CFL is all about is is, is those big plays and uh, back and forth games and uh, and uh, be able to find your way through it is a big character builder and and hope it continues. Can having those comeback wins galvanize a locker room in terms of like, hey, I know this guy can get it done. I know this guy can get it done. Like the first couple weeks, right? Sean Bain Jr. gets it done in the clutch. Obviously, Trevor Harris has been the common denominator, but then you have Keen Schaefer Baker having a big game last week. Jarris Stearns when he counted most. Does that bring guys closer together in the locker room when you get those kind of wins early in the season? Well, of course, wins do that, but yeah, just that belief or that know, uh, knowing or that confidence in, you have in, in the guys uh, that you're, you're going out there with uh, uh, in, in so many situations. Uh, I, know, I know Mark Gard is going to take over my block so I can get up to the next level or uh, somebody's going to make a big play in a key situation. You, your, your quarterback now has confidence in whatever player. And that's so, so that just, uh, that just builds upon itself and, and, uh, you know, I, 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 it makes for good, exciting football, but, uh, yeah, that, uh, that confidence, uh, comes with those big plays, but of course, uh, being able to do it, uh, to get a win, uh, multiplies that, I think. What do you think, Wes, to bring guys together? Oh, for sure. I think it does nothing but build confidence. And then when you get down in the, like in the playoffs, when you need to, like you have no choice, but to come back or you go home. If you've been there, done that, it doesn't seem like an insurmountable. It doesn't seem like something you can't get accomplished. And then you see the type of comebacks that we're seeing week one, week two, might just be the same type of comeback we see in the playoffs with this team. Gene, what do you, are you uh, confident about this team? How you feel about the atmosphere around just, what do you think about the, that's what I want to know. What do you think about the obsidian green? And then what do you think about just the buzz around this team this year? Yeah, no, so far, so good. I think you're talking about, uh, as you said earlier, I think it started with Coach Base and what people are hearing from him and yeah. and the confidence uh, and, and the presence he had. And he was uh, out throughout the city and the province uh, uh, learning about Rider Nation. And, uh, yeah, as you get wins, you, you get that buzz. I think that's what we've been missing the last couple of years. Uh, Rasho oh. Regina, Saskatchewan, is, uh, with the tough times he's had, and you haven't had that, that sort of buzz. Uh, not everybody were wearing green on game day and that sort of thing. So... Uh, that's gone away a little bit, so I'm excited about the the, the beginning of this season. And uh, uh, you got your we, city in green jersey. Where you, what, you well, got, you got the old school on right now. But what, this is very old school. I didn't get the memo. <laughs> You're supposed to dress up with you guys. You put, <laughs> put me in the shade here. Well, you do it for your job now. You got to yeah. stay clean. So this you is relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, but yes, yeah, seeing uh, more and more green on on the uh, on, on game days and such. Uh, and, and people are talking about it, like uh, just in casual conversations right so that's great to see you again so uh look for more of that hopefully this year gene let's get you out on this your favorite memory from a home opener with the riders oh boy uh that's a while ago now but uh, i i think i remember it was uh well, it must have been 2010 uh, coming yeah. off the great cup and the, the shootout and uh that that was uh something else can't remember the, the exact score but uh, whoever had the ball last uh against montreal there was uh exciting game and uh uh to pull it out, uh, it's obviously not uh, revenge on, on uh, what happened the previous year, but but uh, great uh, great great CFL game to kick off the season with two two great quarterbacks. Uh, uh, that's that's awesome uh, to be a part of that. Uh, uh, certainly stressful, but but uh, it was a lot of fun, and uh, that's kind of the one that sticks out. But uh, as Kate said earlier, they kind of, kind of all blend together uh, over the years. I haven't played in, in well over a decade, so that one was. 54-51 in double or in overtime. Epic game. Gina, yeah. thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Really appreciate the insight on the riders and the offensive line. Good to see you, Gino. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for having me.